<laughs> there goes our ride. Magic train disappeared. Does it come back? Uh, I guess not. I'm sorry, what? No, I guess it doesn't. Magic train disappeared. Well. Uh, we drove on the magic would, track. And it didn't what come else back. would you expect from a magic train? Come on. Well, that's, um... Oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Lock picking lawyer. Is that who it is? Is mm -hmm. that literally his name? I recognize the yeah. face. I can't put the name to the Disney character. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's Seeing the tears of Sora, I read today in interesting icon tears, but she has a melting men's hearts. They were collected a lot of them, a lot of tears from women who watched tear triggering movies so that they could collect tears. The men who are aggressive and frustrated smelt the tears of the woman and got car and got, got calm in mood. There are some interesting studies done, but there's also some very bizarre ones being done as well. I mean, who would who would kind of commission a study to think, oh I know, let's get some tears from a woman and see if they calm a man? It's pretty, I don't know. I guess that like stems from somebody who's said, Oh, when my wife cries, it calms me down. And then someone's like, oh, let's put that to the sort of test. I don't know. Yeah, and they start punching them in the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tears are flowing, but my, my fist hurts and her face is broken. Extreme. <laughs> All right, I need you, all right pay, pay attention, Jeff, because I need you to tell me who this character is. I This is bugging me. My lackey's inside. To see uh, the master of this here towers is I don't know Disney squat. Uh, Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him not, the perfect not bodyguard the, not, for me. Yeah, Donald Duck, see, it don't matter how blah, blah, blah. He is. What's his yeah. heartless, he'll do as I say. I know all this, but <laughs> I don't know the like those things that that's the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Hearts. No. With all those heartless at her side, I don't think of what his name is. Maleficent Koopa. Conquer everything. And For Mario Brothers. I debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different King worlds Koopa. and building an army of heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you, Pipsqueaks, anyway? Go on, Scram. I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Am I supposed to know? Oh, says who? <laughs> huh? Oh. It's you, Pete. Pete. What are you two Nimrods uh, doing here? Uh, uh, Stairworded Goofy. You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. That's you, Goofy. I wonder how he escaped. Steroids. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well. Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? I have to try to remember that I don't hear audio. <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it! Oh, gosh. Well, we might have had something to do with it. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like squad. a King Koopa Run Goofy. Up. Like Pistol Piston Pete or Pistol Pete or someone? That seems to ring a bell. Not it's definitely not Buff Goofy, Evan. Yeah, don't, listen, yeah, yeah. don't listen to the crazy American guy. He's crazy, but an American for a reason. <laughs> yep. Now it's difficult not to listen to him because he doesn't stop talking, but don't listen to him. <laughs> well, you know, if you live here, you have to be crazy. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. 
So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. All right. No idea who Yen Sid is. Don't know if that's an original character or a Disney character. Not a clue. Yep. No clue here either. Maybe we'll find uh, Steamboat Willie, though. I have not followed Disney since. Uh, like, if I would say follow. Early, early 2000s. Okay. Yeah, I can tell you. I, I never really watched a lot of Disney as a kid, so. Yeah, I mean, more of a Looney Tunes guy. Yep. Same here. Looney Tunes, 100%. Loved it. Uh, Woody Woodpecker. Chili Willy, blah, blah, blah. And then on Saturdays, had Bugs Bunny, Road Runner. Go. It's like an hour and a half or so. So, I lied to me. You told me yesterday you don't have Saturdays because it's, it's just Friday. It's an extended day. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it. You know, I'm just trying to make make it sound normal to you. So, now let's go through the magical door. That's all I gotta say about that. They were. Wait. Why well, have I only got 103 money when I got a. Uh... Huh. Because the conversion rate. But where's my. First thing. With. I had a purse thing that had like 2,000 money in it, uh, 5,000 money in it, and now it's just all gone. I don't get it. Uh, sorry about that. Um, Did you go down the pub with it? Yeah, come on. I put this on Reddit, and then, well, you know what they do. Uh, I don't use Reddit, so I have no idea what they do. Uh, they take everything. Yeah, Reddit's been behind the biggest uh, scripts and some of the biggest, wow, that can happen kind of things. Yeah. Man, it's an expensive freaking train ticket, even if they spent 5,000 money on three train tickets. That's ridiculous. How much is 5,000 money? Uh, 5,000 money? Yeah, but what's, what's money equals? Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So the worlds aren't at peace after all? Uh, 5,000 money is, I don't know, be whatever you want it to be, Deathwish. Million dollars. I want it, uh, Million I want dollars, it to be how's that? One, one quid. One quid, okay. It's a pretty, 
better conversion rate, but sure. <laughs> well, that's going from uh, pounds to quid. And speaking of which, what the hell is the difference? Nothing. It's just slang. I mean, uh, it's really annoying hearing people say. Yeah, but it's not, yeah, but I'm not like, being funny. Uh, all right, all right. You say you say it's like really annoying, like hearing two different things. But what's the difference between somebody saying a dollar or a book? Surely that's the same difference, no? Uh, think think I about mean, that I, one. Think about that one no, a minute. No, I, no, no. I don't. See it. Think about it a minute. No, I don't. I don't see it that way. It's yeah, like. I mean, that's that's the only two things I ever hear. Sorry, I... Yeet stuff. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master, but we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? I mean, you have the Keyblade, Sora, so... yeah. Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open I hate the my chair. to light. Yep. My favorite thing about the chair. This book contains uh, yeah. valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. All right, so go back to the conversation, Deathwish. So what is, so how is a book and um, a dollar different to a pound and a quid? Well. No, is it? Uh, uh, no, no, I think if you would ask anybody on this side of the pond, it, they don't know that it's, uh, like you said, it's, I didn't know that it's, uh, like slang. Well, I wouldn't, I don't know it's like slang, but it's, it's just basically, you, you use whichever one. But, uh, but I hear use. both a quid and a pound, and that's the only two I hear. Whereas, in America, you get a dollar get a book you get a yeah i mean there's there, there's a lot of different ones but dollar is what it is yeah, yeah the that's... rest are, the rest are slang but it means the same thing so what's but... the difference between a pound and a quid because a pound is what it is but people call it a quid as like instead of a pound sometimes a slang yeah no i'm not i'm not disagreeing with you uh, <laughs> I'm not just, well, 
Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with you though. None. Nope. Okay. Uh, the no, beginning. Not. Not. Not disagreeing with you because uh, it's always. Okay. Go. Yeah. Go ahead. It's always what? No, go on. Finish your sentence. It's fine. I'm waiting. Okay. So you only hear, uh, at least from my ears, uh, pound, quid, and I, and I, and of course you always see the pound symbol. When you're talking about uh, British, and then the euro symbol for the rest of Europe, which you're not a part of anymore. <laughs> And then that quid, it's like, okay, you look it up on Google, and then it's like, yeah, it's basically the same as a pound, whatever. Okay. But what, but why do people use it? But why do people use it? Literally in the, sa in the same sentence, though. I'm not sure that I've heard people use it in the same sentence before. Oh, I, I, I mean, I have, but I, I get it. I'm, I'm sure people. I would never yeah. say. I, I, don't, I don't even know how I would use pound and quid in the same sentence. I either refer to it as one or the other. I would never ever use them in the same freaking thing. I, I, yeah. I mean, if, okay, you've got, maybe, if, you, if you've got evidence maybe of that, then... same, maybe same sentence is. Incorrect. Same uh, train of thought. Maybe that's more, you know, like within two or three sentences, they get swapped back and forth. And I'm like, well, what is it? Quid? Or is it pound? Again, I, I don't know. I've I've never interchanged them like that. If I'm, if I say one, then I'll continue to use one. I won't like interchange it in between sentences or between passages of speech. So, well, I'm glad you don't. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, because, like, to trust, I'm, I'm just speaking from uh, just my point of view. I've always, I keep, when I'm like, okay, it's supposed to be, it's like the same thing, but wait a minute, why do these people keep saying one or the other and like say let's, let's say not the same sentence but the same paragraph that has you know say three or four sentences uh, and it's like no what stick with one the only, the only time the only other time i can imagine somebody would use quid and pound in the same sentence was if you was talking about someone something and you was referring to pound as in a weight rather than a currency so you would say oh, i don't know how oh, much shit. how and much they, how much of those apples how much of those apples oh they're three quid a pound <laughs> yeah but then god damn it you, you then you do uh, no, Evan. uh how many uh you're you're uh hundred no you're 64 kilograms uh uh you're 14 stone what yeah which which one are you going with stone or kilogram you want you metric? Use, are you stone and Please. pounds are you stone and pounds I don't use kilograms i couldn't even tell you what the conversion is from kilograms to pounds because i don't never ever use kilograms in a weight term melology from like talking about my own weight my own weight is always stones and pounds and that's probably the only time you would ever use stones and pounds in that sort of sense you would never use like um stones when you were talking about like the weight or a quantity of something if you okay. was talking about like buying something from the shop you will either buy um weights and things for things that you buy in the shops are typically kilograms these days but when you're talking about fresh produce or even some olden things that you can buy, then they tend to be still in the old-fashioned kind of pounds and things. 
So it's like you buy a pound a pound of butter or a pound of sugar. Okay. Right. That, yeah. That's but... that's. I mean, that's. I know it's confusing, but that's the only time I would ever consider a quid and a pound be used in the same sentence, but they aren't referring to the same thing. One's referring to currency, and one's referring to the weight of something. So. Yeah. Yeah. That. See. That's what's real. Uh, kind of. Uh, okay. Everybody else in the world talks about why does why doesn't the United States have metric? We do. Why don't people use it? Because we're not taught that for everyday stuff. We use Fahrenheit, we use inches, feet, yards, yada yada. And I mean, I'm one of those people I know approximately what like say uh a 5k which you know i used to run all the time and 5k is 3.1 miles it is you're correct and yeah and, and that's how like uh 100 kilometers per hour is about 60 about 60 i was 60 gonna say I, yeah i was just gonna say uh, it, it's about 60 miles per hour and say if you got like uh you know supercars hypercars and they're going like uh yeah 400 kilometers an hour you know yeah like a bugatti bay run and uh, plenty of other crap but now uh there's plenty of stuff that like, like well when you when you use pounds it's like are you yeah I, I, you can take it in context but i've i've seen it cross between um uh, money uh value and weight and it's like okay yeah, like 99.9% .9 of the time, it, it's obvious, uh, just due to context, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. it's always yeah, good to I, use um, different verbs and adjectives when you're trying to write things. It's There's nothing worse than reading something that uses repetition over and over again, Perfurious, so... Right, anyway, enough talk about that. Let's read about the beginning. Each journey gives rise and chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by the darkness. Ensnared by the darkness. Friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Yeah, sure, that makes complete sense. Sounds legit. Interlude. A long dream. A sad farewell hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the, d the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps. For there are, for there all confusion, for there all confusion will end. For there. Surely there should be a comma there. For there all confusion will end. I think it should be a comma there. It might be a translation thing. Future story. Will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? You're talking in riddles, man. It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. But not afraid. Entrust your body to the soothing ways of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over. And everything will begin. I didn't understand a single word of that. The book contains important knowledge. Be sure to read it. Um, 
Yeah, actually, I've got lots of questions. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <coughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. Okay, so that's basically these wire things then are the bodies of people who have turned into heartless. Okay. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. Nobodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. Nobodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. I'm not sure I understand the, the, what you're saying there, Furious. You don't know if people are thinking like I wrote above when they are saying in the other times pound and in others quid. Yeah, I... I don't understand what you're trying to say there, buddy. I'm sorry. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will. But I do, I do kind of agree with you. Was you saying that you like like trying to use different verbs? Because I kind of said there's when you're trying to read like long passages of text, there's nothing worse than like the same um, like word being used over and over again. So it's always good to kind of. It's almost like what you'd use a thesaurus for, isn't it? Like you try and find a different word that means the same thing just to make your writing a little bit more interesting. So... An alarming number of dusts. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. 
He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What else does he mean? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora, you sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> All right, interesting. So that wizard dude looks real evil, completely evil. Yep, I created him from from scratch. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah. Okay. The old fairy godmothers. These clothes will help you only as much as your growth allows. Their true potential lies dormant. It's your job to unleash it. We've been told about you. Hurry up and try on your new clothes. That's it. After you've prepared for your journey, of course. Uh, once you've changed, you're off. Uh, not yet. What else do I need to prepare for my journey? I don't... Image of the Keyblade unleashes all the power flows in your mind. Image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I wonder if this is like a choice. An image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. Talk to you. An image of utilizing your magic to its fullest flows into your mind. An image of utilizing strength to its fullest flows into your mind. Okay, so I, it look, almost looks like... I don't know if we're going to get a choice here. But... Um, almost looks like whatever we choose here, we're going to get different abilities. Maybe we'll be able to change at different times. I don't know. Alright, let's speak. For example, if I say I bought CDs for ten pound, with ten pound notes, and I received five quid from the seller, I just don't want to use the same word because, I, all right. But in that in that context, Furious, I would use the same because you took. Um, yeah, I I wouldn't use like different. So I would have said, yeah, I. CD the CDs were five pound. I only had a ten pound note, so I got five pound change from the seller. Or something like that. I would, I would in that instance use the same um, describing word for the currency there. That's just me, though. My opinion. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, yeah, Donald, and Luffy. Oh, if you're Jeez. looking for clothes, you're Be consistent right with place. your descriptors. I'll do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Would you just decide? Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh my. Oh, it's 
lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> your garments also have other powers, but you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best, and thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! The Star Seeker. Increase maximum combo by one when in mid-air. With Goofy's help, use the Drive command to change into Valor form. Drive command has been added to the gauge on the lower right. It is consumed for transformation. It is powerful as it absorbs party members' strength, but party members disappear while transformed. Okay, so it's a bit like a summon then, I guess. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Huh. Laura, I think you dropped something. Huh? You must have fallen out of your pocket. What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should hold on to any other piece you come across on your journey. I'll make, sh make sure to note them in my journal. What should we go, Jiminy? You obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some of them can only, some of them can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. You can view collected pieces in Jiminy's journal. Uh, okay. Form abilities are fixed. By leveling up a form, these abilities can be used even out of that particular form. Okay. This sounds like a bit like the way um, abilities work in the Final Fantasy VII remake. Like you, once you've learned them, you can use them regardless. Subweapons. When a form, when in a in a form, a second weapon can be equipped. One keyblade with strength and abilities. Two keyblades with strength and abilities. Acquire abilities and strength from both weapons. Learn to equip subweapons. In the item select Sora. Select the form. Select a weapon to equip as a subweapon. The ability of the subweapon is only valid in that particular form. Yeah, I I completely got that. Are we all paying attention and making notes, guys? I hope so. Well, I'm bored. I knew you would be. Uh. What do I do? I know it's an equipping ability. I'm not sure I get that. Okay, so Valor has its own status page. This stuff in the journal, which we'll come back to. It is. That's uh, an American car. That is. That is. Because <laughs> we phonetically say things. Data. Instead of data. 
Oh no, it's the return of the gummy ship. Oh no. We also have. So you guys ready to go? It's hard to. Now, now, just a moment. Instead of. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties, as do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. Let's say I read a book out loud to an audience. The book has sentences like, poor man, poor man had only four quid. Then I want to explain some things that belong to the poor guy. And then I say, like, in the story of the book, a poor guy who owns just a few pounds. Uh, yeah, I would say that's logical because you, you're describing what, like, the author has said. So the author is referring to pounds as quid in that context, but because you're now describing what the author said, you can dis you can use pound because you are describing like in your words, as opposed to the author's words. I would say that's fine. But that's just my take. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah? No? Yeah? Uh, no. Uh, 100% agree. Got it. But, be warned. As you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How does that feel? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Watson! We sure do appreciate the help. The fact that he looked evil like the whole time goodness, was um, not reassuring. That's Maleficent, isn't it? Did Maleficent have a bird? Uh, Haven't we seen this I cannot before? tell you. Yes, dear. I, I don't know any was. of. I uh, recognize. We no, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She yeah. was a mean old witch. Oh no, the memories are coming back. Them. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Ha, <laughs> 
Howdy, Sora. How you doing? It's your favorite dummy engineers here, ready for duty, Chip. And Dale! Rescue Rangers. Alrighty. Rescue Rangers. Use less six fly the gummy ship. Try approaching the world at the bottom of the screen when you arrive at your destination. Press triangle to land. Hollow Bastion. Okay, so all the other worlds are here. They are domed off, and it doesn't look like we can access them at this point, which is fair enough. Looks like maybe as well that the like the gummy missions aren't a part of this one, even though we've got the gummy ship, which is nice to know. Okay, this world has only got a few items. I think we're kind of like blocked off from going to a certain place at the minute. So let's go to Holoblastian. See what we have here. Maleficent! Maleficent! Maybe they really did finish her off. Ooh, this castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. Now what's going to happen to our plan? Bastion, I remember. It's Hollow Bastion. Gorge looks kind of different now. Ah, you want them to get a girl, okay? Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. Alright, so I guess the worlds here in this game work a little bit different. It's fine. So I've got a puzzle piece over here. Louis Dewey and Louis Accessory Shop. Let's buy two ability rings. And let's equip said accessory. Let me speak. Let me equip said ability rings. How many good pimps tons are there? How many what? 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 How many what? I didn't get the question. How many uh, quintessential pounds are there? How many quintessential pounds? No idea. Not so, a clue. So you don't know your own. Uh, so where to carry? Uh, you've completely lost me. <laughs> and so I achieved my goal. Jeez. 
Pull to in town, like synthesize items of various materials. Collect the materials used for item synthesis to create various items. Can you just tell me that same thing twice? I'm pretty sure you did. Can we synthesize anything at the minute? Oh, got an elixir. You can synthesize um, anything. I don't think I can. Oh, there's my material list. Material log. Recipes. There's no craftable items. Fantastic. Yeah, I see another puzzle piece. How do I get up there? Your answer? I don't. Seems we have to get up top of the building. That's Scrooge meant duck, I see. I think uh, it is. you need to jump on other things. Uncle Scrooge. Uh, who? He's Donald's uncle. Uncle, a business typhoon. Typhoon or tycoon? We just said typhoon. Anyway, before the heartless showed up, he travelled the worlds on, his, on a government ship with the king. He was helping to set tra set up a traffic system. Transit system. What's all the racket? Don't gang. Why, if it isn't Donald and Goofy. Hello, lads. Ah, you all look hale and hearty. So do you, Uncle Scrooge. Ah, if only I were. Can I seem to recreate my favorite old time ice cream? I'd make millions if I could just get it right. Terrible. No, I don't go for you the same person. Maybe, um. This ice looks like it could make some good ice cream. Uh, make ice ice cream? Mm. Sounds good. Do it. The only others are in the borough. They went to Merlin's house. Okay. So wait, how do I get on top of... Oh, maybe I climb on the wall? I'm assuming at some point then we're going to get a double jump because I can't jump on to get that puzzle piece there. So I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, let's go onwards. Another cutscene, jeez. Story never ends. Hmm. Oh, what's going on? That's the town's defense mechanism. Yuffie. Yuffie. Fighting nobodies. So if you're fighting nobodies, are you really fighting anybody? Well, that depends on if you're talking about pounds, pounds, or boots, or stones. Stones and pounds, heroes. Hey, you guys! I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Hey, you well, what guys. did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie, have you seen the king and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! Come on! Am 
map of the area.